The 38th World Heritage Committee meeting in Doha on Monday was set for a showdown between the group that approves and safeguards the UNESCO World Heritage List of Sites of Natural Beauty and the Australian and Queensland governments over the protection of the Great Barrier Reef. Australia's Great Barrier Reef watchdog gave the green light in January for millions of cubic metres of dredged mud to be dumped near the fragile reef to create the world's biggest coal port and possibly unlock $28 billion in coal projects. The dumping permit clears the way for a major expansion of the port of Abbott Point for two Indian firms and Australian billionaire miner Gina Reinhart, who together have $16 billion worth of coal projects in the untapped inland Galley Basin. Environmentalists, scientists and tour operators had fought the plan to dump 15 miles from the reef, which they fear will harm delicate corals and seagrasses, and potentially double ship traffic through the World Heritage Marine Park. The chief executive officer of the World Wildlife Fund Australia, Dermot O'Gorman, said he was calling for a ban on the material being dumped into the reef by the Queensland Regional Government in Australia. Uh, we believe the decision by the Australian and Queensland Government to uh, approve the dumping of 3 million cubic metres uh, of dredging spoil into the waters of the World Heritage Area uh, will uh, damage uh, the World Heritage status and we're calling from a, for a, a ban on dumping. Uh, in the World Heritage areas of the Great, Great Barrier Reef. The permit to dump 3 billion cubic metres of mud within the marine park could place at risk the World Heritage listing of the Great Barrier Reef, one of Australia's top tourist attractions, generating an estimated $5.7 billion. Queensland Minister for Environment and Heritage Protection, Andrew Powell, said the regional and national governments were aware of UNESCO's concerns and were taking them seriously. We, the Queensland Government and the Australian Government are very cognisant that UNESCO and World Heritage Committee have had some concerns about development adjacent to the reef. Uh, we've listened to those concerns, to the recommendations that they've made, and we are working to address each and every one of them. We're very committed to the Great Barrier Reef. It is a natural wonder of the world. It's right there on our doorstep. We have a responsibility to protect it, and we are. Australia's Reef Authority in January imposed strict conditions on the dumping permit, including no environmental, cultural or heritage damage to areas beyond 12 miles from the disposal site, and urged the port's cooperation to consider other dump sites. Powell said he and the Australian governments considered the position taken by the WWF not to be one that was based on the facts on the ground. The science says that the real threats to the reef are storms and cyclones, crown of thorn starfish and coral bleaching. We're working to address in particular that crown of thorn starfish by stopping sediment and nutrients coming down the catchments adjacent to the reach reef each and every year. We and the Queensland, uh, Queensland and the Australian governments invest some $180 million a year in managing and protecting the Great Barrier Reef.